In this video we're going to take a look at the HTML editor. Uh, we have used the HTML editor uh, for to do different things up until this point. However, the HTML editor can actually do a lot of, of different things. You can actually create essentially an entire web page just using that HTML editor. And I'm going to demonstrate that by adding another name to a topic bar here. So far as in the last video we added Reformation Exploration in Europe. Here we're going to add another unit, only we're going to use all the features that it has. Now just like last time, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And just like I showed you in the last video, I'm going to take this code, copy that, and I'm going to go ahead and bring it into this topic four, I'm going to click the edit icon, toggle my, my HTML stuff on here, I'll paste it, toggle it off. Okay, great. I change it to unit four, and I guess let's just call it Asia, just so we have something to name it. Okay, now what I can do uh, HTML with the HTML editor is I have here simple left, center, right, align, things of that nature, indent, bullets, paragraph, change the font, all that kind of stuff. Uh, bold, underline, strike through, things of that nature. We have some other icons down here as well though. Uh, we want to take a closer look at some of those. Um, we're not necessarily going to go over all of them. Uh, we do have a little bit of time constraint here so I just want to use ones that are probably going to be the most useful to you right away. If you have questions about what the other ones do, please feel free to post them to the general questions forum and I'll I'll get to those, uh, answer those for you. Okay, so let's say instead of just plain old text, I want to put a picture into this area. I can do that. Maybe I want to put a, a picture of a map of Asia. I'm going to go up here to this, it kind of looks like a picture, and if I hover over it, it says insert image. I click on that, it's going to take me to this screen. Okay, now I first need to go get the image that I want to put in here, similar to how I would upload a file. So just like I would attach something to an email, I'll click Browse on my desktop. Uh, conveniently, there's a picture of a map of Asia. I'm going to select that and click Open. When I do that, I'm going to see the file path in this area right here. And I'll just click Upload. And there it is. I'm going to click on this. It's going to show up here. It'll allow me to preview it, things of that nature. Now it wants me to put in an alternate text. Basically this is the text that will come up if I were to hover over this image with a, with a mouse, with the cursor. So I'm just going to call this map of... Okay. Now in this I can also change how I would justify it. For example, I might want... Um, let's just see the text top here. Okay, we'll just we'll just go with that with this time. I'll click OK, and it'll show up in my HTML editor. Now, right now, it's it's probably way too big, so I can just simply click on the corners, edit it down, just like that. Okay. Now, let's say I don't want the text here. I can play around with this, put it underneath. That looks pretty good. Uh, we can go with that, and I'll save changes. I'm going to turn editing off so you can see what it looks like in the clean version. And I have here Unit 4 Asia. And I have a map of Asia. Uh, it looks, kind of adds something to it. Um, you can put a, a picture that kind of themes out your unit. Um, just kind of makes for a little bit more rich environment. Okay, so that's how you would add a picture. Let's go back to that. I'm going to go ahead and edit. Another neat thing I can do is I can take this picture and I can use it as an anchor. Actually in this case we're going to go with uh, insert a web link. When I do that, I'm going to click on the picture and I'm going to put a web link in. And I'm going to go, let's say I want to take this to... Um, Let's just say 
Ah, the Wikipedia site on Asia. I'll go ahead and go to that site. I'll copy this. Let's go ahead and just get rid of this. And paste the link in here in the URL section. I can title it. And I can set targets here, which I'm, I'm not going to do in this particular one. I can set an anchor, uh, which I'm also not going to do in this particular one either. I'll click OK. And I'll save my changes. I'm going to go here, close that out. Turn the editing off again. Scroll down now. When I move my cursor over the map, it becomes a web link. Okay. One of the nice things that Moodle does, and one of the reasons why I wanted to show you this, is because you can actually create a really um, rich environment for your students in terms of of just little things here and there that um, that kind of add to your instruction. Um, and things like these these uh, web links, putting pictures in, things of that nature, just just add to. Uh, the way your students engage Moodle. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this, a lot of different spots you can do that in. You want to be careful not to do too much of it though or be too random about it because it can confuse your students and um, it is easy to, for example, with this picture, if I'm just trying to navigate and get down to the next assignment and I accidentally click on this, now it's going to take me to another page uh, which can get uh, a little obnoxious. So you just want to make sure it's structured, make sure it has a purpose um, just to keep everything kind of clean as you develop your uh, your Moodle. Okay, let's go back to the HTML editor one more time. I'll click here. And there's some other things that you can do with this as well. Um, you can insert a smiley. I know some people like to do this. It has a plethora of options here for you. I can click blush and now I have the blushing smiley next to Asia. Let's go ahead and feel free to try out these other items here as well. This is edit, undo, so on and so forth. Um, you can insert a table. I'll try to do that real quick. It'll ask you rows, cells, pretty straightforward. You can put items in there. Um, so again, like I said, just feel free to play around with this and uh, get comfortable with it. That's the HTML editor. We will be doing more with this in the future uh, in terms of some other things you can do.